Today I'm going to tell you why I'm returning the Ryzen 7 5800X and which CPU should you get since everything seems to be perpetually sold out. Let's get started. Hey guys, Tiago here. So I think I'm going to be returning this Ryzen 5800X. Now I do have in my main system a 5950X, so it's not like, you know, I'm not going to be with a Ryzen 5000 CPU. So today I'm going to tell you why I'm returning this specific CPU. And if you're in the market for a CPU, what should you get? These all seem to be pretty much sold out. We're going to talk about this one specifically a little bit later. And there's still Intel on the market. First, let me tell you the reason why I'm returning this. So if you guys watched my video recently i mentioned that this cpu is running very very hot a lot hotter than normal in fact it runs even hotter than my 5950x i tried all sorts of coolers on it and it seems pretty much let's say if you do a cinebench run it's pretty much getting close to 90 celsius now i use cinebench because that's going to tell you the worst case scenario for the most part on what the cpu can do so that means that in general gaming and even regular use is also going to be a little bit hotter than normal and now a lot of people left a comment on that video and a lot of them actually had the same exact problem with this particular cpu the 5800x running considerably hotter than normal of course there were people that also seemed to have no issues at all and of course there are people that have their CPU running at normal cooler temperatures. So I think first it comes down to maybe the quality of the silicon that you get. It's almost a silicon lottery. Maybe you can get one that's a little bit hotter. And then second, I think it does come down to maybe some settings and we're going to talk about this as well. Now, AMD does officially say that these are safe to go up to 90 Celsius. That seems to be within the normal operating range. But having said that, I want to have a much lower starting point with my temperature. I don't want it to be running out of the box almost at 90 degrees celsius even if amd says that's okay i really feel that a lot of these other cpus like the 5950x it runs in the 60s out of the box that's a huge difference for me to make it run anywhere over 80 i really have to be overclocking it have to have like pbo on you really have to have the maxed out settings and now i don't feel like to get better cooling performance that the regular user really has to tinker all that much with a cpu like this i tried it with pbo both on and and off which is the performance boost overdrive it's basically like a type of automatic overclocking and the results were pretty similar within a few degrees it didn't make that much of a difference now you can lower the temperature on something like this but you're gonna have to do a lot more manual work you're gonna have to possibly mess with the voltages you may have to put it in eco mode as I saw a lot of people did in Ryzen Master but in my opinion if you're getting a high performance CPU like this and you have to do a lot to really modify it to work within a better temperature range I honestly don't really feel like it's worth it. Maybe the one you got may work better, but if you check my video that I posted, and I'll link it down below, a lot of people have this hot running CPU, so I don't think it's just an isolated problem. It really comes down to just how this particular chip is designed. There's definitely a lot more performance per core, per watt going on in something like this that has 8 core, 16 thread, versus the 5600X, which is going to have a much lower TDP. And one interesting thing is that in terms of stock and availability, this one actually has been the one that I've seen the most. When I got this at Micro Center, they had over 25 in stock and they had literally none of the 5600X. And of course, don't even mention the 5900X, the 5950X, that was completely sold out. So that tells me for whatever reason, it seems like AMD just has a lot more of stock of these to go around. Even yesterday, these popped up on Amazon for uh, actually a while, for a few hours, you could order them and it said they'd be delivered sometime in January. So it seems like from what I've been seeing out in stores and online, the 5800X, while it's still not easy to find per se, if you look, it's definitely been the one that I've seen the most all across, you know, retail stores as well as online. So maybe the way that this particular chip is designed, maybe it's easier for AMD to put them out. And that's why there's going to be a much bigger variation in sort of what the heat output that these are putting out. But we really only have anecdotal evidence to go by with this particular chip. I see more in stock and I also also see more people having heat issues compared to the other you know Ryzen 5000 CPUs and so if the Ryzen 5000 chip that's running the hottest is the one that's also more available what do you do if you need a CPU well if you've already bought a Ryzen 5800X don't worry it's still a great processor 8 core 16 thread it's very fast and technically it still really is working within AMD's parameters there's really nothing specifically wrong with it it's just personally I would like a much cooler running chip so then we reach a 
little bit of a conundrum. If you check what's going on with CPUs right now, pretty much the Ryzen 5000 is sold out across the board. Occasionally, yes, you're going to see the 5600X, and like we mentioned, the 5800X does pop up. If you do see those and you're going for a new CPU, I still recommend you try to get a Ryzen 5000 CPU. They still represent the best performance and bang for the buck that you're going to get, and even if it's a 5800X, it's still manageable to some degree. You change some settings, there's still kind of a way around it, and there's a chance you may actually get a chip that runs cool out of the box, and you may have none of these issues that people see to be experiencing since remember it's not everybody because of course not every chip is having this issue so you may get lucky it seems to be just a certain amount of chips and then if you can't find ryzen 5000 Logically, the next choice would be Ryzen 3000, something like a 3900X, a 3600. But the problem here is they've been really sold out as well. Everybody pretty much has the same idea. They can't find the new Ryzen stuff. At least they buy the 3000 series generation. Same motherboard, so that way they can upgrade in the future. So that has caused those chips to also be sold out. And when they're available in retailers, the price definitely has gone up. I used to see the 3900X for around $399. Now I'm seeing it for over $500 so I'm not particularly sure if that's going to be the best deal even the 3600 which is a really great budget CPU that has a lot of great performance it used to be around 170 180 dollars now I'm seeing it for closer to like 240 250 dollars so because of everything being sold out the Ryzen chips from even from the previous generation certainly has gone up considerably now if you can still find a good deal on the 3600 3600x even if you're going for the top end, like a 3950X, remember, they're still going to perform great in most cases. They just don't have the gaming performance that Ryzen 5000 has. They're not going to have as good IPC and boost clocks and the latency. So you definitely will be giving up some of that there. And the other option that you have, and it's still available, is going to be Intel. So if you're going just for gaming performance, it's funny, I've overheard people, like when I'm in a local store, they said, I can't believe that Intel seems to be the budget option now. Because Ryzen Ryzen, not only is it more expensive, like the Ryzen 5000 at MSRP, but like we said, the low stock has even pushed the Ryzen 3000 to be more expensive, and Intel has pretty much stayed around the same price and maybe a little bit cheaper, just because there's a lot less demand for the Intel chips. That doesn't mean that they're really any worse. If you get something like a 10850K, which performs pretty much on par with a 10900K, I've recently seen it on sale for around $399, and for a 10-core 20-thread CPU that goes all the way up to 5.3 gigahertz i think that's an amazing deal for something that's going to be pretty much anything from ryzen 3000 in terms of gaming now if you do want to get ryzen because you know you're going to upgrade to a ryzen 5000 in the future when those really become available much later on then of course maybe you can get something like a 3600x or a 3800 xt that seems to be maybe the faster ryzen chips in terms of gaming so when you're out shopping for cpus look at your particular use case if it's just gaming intel even though you know z490 you're not going to have much of an upgrade path especially if you want to go to ryzen later on it's still going to be a pretty good value especially compared to everything being sold out and then ideally if you can get at msrp a 5600x or any of the other ryzen 5000 chips i think definitely that's going to be the way to go just keep in mind that the 5800x possibly may have a little bit more issues running hotter now like i said before it's not going to be in every single case all right guys i hope you enjoy the video remember to subscribe smash that like button let me know what cpu you're thinking of getting down below and i'll see you guys on the next video